from Augusta. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Now for my point of personal privilege. Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the House, as, as you know, I'm a, I'm a newbie to the budget conference this year. But one thing I do know is we have to figure out how many dollars we have to spend before we can actually spend those dollars. Um, and I want to talk to you this morning or today just a little bit about uh, where we are related to the revenues in the state budget. As you know, we have also had a challenge the last few years with whether our revenue projections are on target and really um, have been accurate related to the dollars coming into the Commonwealth and, and uh, making sure we account for those in our state budget. In the last few uh, years, uh, unfortunately, those have not always been uh, on target, so to speak. In this fiscal year, um, or rather in the fiscal year of 2008, the final revenue collections barely met our forecast. And we ended the year with only $5 million above the forecast. Last year, even after pulling down the forecast by $821 million in the mid-session reforecast, Governor Kane's forecast overestimated revenues by $299 million. And unfortunately, we ended the year with a substantial shortfall. Thankfully, uh, in the House, we had, I think, the foresight to insist that the conferees set aside a reserve fund or a reserve of $150 million, which did help the state close the books at the end of the year to offset the impact of the fiscal year 2009 shortfall. This year, the House incorporated Governor McDonald's three-year upward adjustment to the forecast totaling $200 million, but also set aside an additional $165 million in the revenue reserve or revenue stable for a deposit in the revenue stabilization fund, as we call it, to offset any potential setbacks that we may experience because of the economy. And I think while all of us are pleased that the economy is showing some signs of improvement, we also know that I believe that the economy is not recovering as quickly uh, as we've seen in the past um, and that the recovery will probably be um, slow and steady, not the robust recoveries we've seen in, in past years. Now, that's what the House did. Now, as, as I like to say, Paul Harvey always says the rest of the story. Here's the rest of the story from the standpoint of what our Senate colleagues have done in their budget. By contrast, the Senate not only adopted and spent the $200 million recommended by Governor McDonnell, but in essence, um, rebuked the forecast and added an additional 247 million revenues over the three-year period. This included an amount of 69.1 million in the current year when we still trail the forecast with only four months remaining till the end of the fiscal year. Uh, that's concerning. In addition to spending the $247 million in these additional or what I would consider puffed up revenues, the Senate el um, eliminated $40 million that Governor Kane had actually included in House Bill 30 for the revenue um, stabilization or for, for a revenue reserve. And they spent that too. Now, in my estimation, ladies and gentlemen, the House is, is the conferees have to deal with the revenue uh, issue. This is first and foremost the most important thing we're going to have to do. Um, it's very difficult and very troubling when we're going into this conference with the fact that not only did the Senate build their budget on what I consider faulty and da dangerous revenue um, assumptions, but they've also built, for all the spending they've done, kind of their budget on false promises because those dollars just aren't there. What they've done by spending more than every cent they've set us, um, that we've tried to set aside in the past, the Senate has also raised, I think, expectations that programs will not be cut. Um, when I think the House took the more prudent course, and that is to assess our revenues, uh, spend them accordingly, and make the cuts necessary to meet our constitutional obligation of balancing our state budget. So ladies and gentlemen, um, I hope you will uh, join me, at least, in thanking 
the members of the House Appropriations Committee on doing the prudent thing uh, and not just uh, trying to puff up our revenue estimates uh, for uh, basically gain um, with groups.